This new Chinese AI model, DeepSeek, is said to outperform ChatGPT, Claude, and all other AI models. Why should we be using DeepSeek V3? The reason is simple. It beats all other AI models in most of the metrics, whether it be journal intelligence, language skills, or coding related skills. Here's a chart listing all the metrics, and we can see the points comparing with Llama and Claude and ChatGPT. Only a few of these points are highlighted for other models be it competitive math exams or English language or coding or the Chinese language, DeepSeek is taking the lead for everyone, which is quite impressive for an open source AI model. So we're gonna start working with DeepSeek. The interface looks quite similar to ChatGPT. On the left is a new chat section, like we have in ChatGPT. We do have two options, one is DeepThink, like the OpenAI or one model, the reasoning model, the other one is the live searching from the web. We're gonna test both of these out as well, but for now we're gonna start off with a simple who are you. Greetings, I'm DeepSeek, an AI assistant would be delighted to assist you. I'm gonna ask it to create a simple HTML page portfolio and let's see what it does. So it gave me a basic HTML with div tags body tag and a footer. There's also a run HTML button which lets you preview the code. So pretty basic of a HTML, simple look, simple feel. What we're gonna do is ask it to add some CSS. So it has also added some HTML sections for the LI elements or for the about the contact me sections. So now the CSS and the HTML both are added in one input. Not too bad. And on the click of it, it moves to each of their sections. So decent. I'll ask it to add some hover effect to the about and the contact, the li elements. In coding, we call them the li elements. And it has added some hover effect. Uh, and the active effect in the code in the CSS. So yeah, it has now the hover effect when we hover over these sections. I'll also add a calculator in this, so I'll ask it to add one. It takes the time to render the whole code again and again. Uh, but there we go, a new section has added with a calculator. Ninety-eight divided by two, and it seems to be working fine. Guys, if you're into AI-related stuff, whether it be tutorials or news, do like and subscribe. I'll ask it to add a live clock as well, and the timer is there. The clock is there, and yeah, so it keeps running. So, pretty decent job. It added the LI elements. It added the hover effect. It added the categories. So it's that easy now to create simple websites, CVs, and if you want to host them, there are plenty of easy to use platforms that are out there that lets you place your code file or HTML file. And there you go, you got a new website just out of a simple click. For the next one, I'll ask you to create a space in where the game using HTML and JavaScript. There you go, we have simple JavaScript commands like document.get. Not too sure what it would have done by default if I didn't mention the JavaScript, but yeah, it does give me JavaScript. And I feel it's working too. Uh, the keyboard arrows seem to be working. There you go, uh, it fires. There you go. Yeah, it does fire. Uh, it does remove the inverters. Now I'll give both DeepSeek and ChatGPT both the same prompt to plan a trip for a family of four. It's a simple prompt, so I don't expect it to do quite differently. JGPT and DeepSeek, they both give 4 days and 3 nights to stay. Both of these give budget breakdowns, a step by step on what to do. So there was not that much difference in both of these as I expected. For the next one I'll go with uh, the deep thinking method in DeepSeek, which compares to the O1 reasoning model in OpenAI's JGPT. So it gives out a step by step thinking procedure, you need to figure out the pros and cons of using AI generated content for small businesses. 
and should also think about the quality of the content. So yeah, it gives the whole 10k flow. It took 14 seconds. So time and cost efficiency. So it lists out a bunch of headings for pros and cons. It's also thinking about the decision factors for small companies. Also makes that as a headline. Um, this is assess needs and resources. Also the types of so bunch of headlines to go through. Uh, so I guess it does articulate and does think it through. So I'll test out the live web feature. So what's the top trending AI news for yesterday? So it's got a date. And it lists out a bunch of news and also on the below right is the resource. A man uses AI to apply for 100 jobs. So when I click it redirects to the site and it is for January 11th. It's Nvidia's groundbreaking announcement. I don't really see a creation date for this but it does say January. So you get the gist of it. We know how it works. It has a live feature. It does think deep like the O1 model. It has a similar yet easy interface like JGPT. One user on next is DeepSeek is the cheapest model that's out there. And that is true. From what we know, it is the cheapest open source model, which is also outperforming everyone. Chinese AI models, whether it be plain LLMs or image video models, seem to outperform the rest. In the chart we see it's competing with Claude, beating Gemini and other GPT models. But also GPT has the edge because of its cheap price. One user says deep seeks efficiency is of how Russian coders got extremely good with coding but with limited resources. But that's a wrong comparison because these Chinese advancements in AI has been long time coming. Also, their DeepSeek V2 was launched some time back and it was as good as well. It was competing with JGPT and other platforms as well. And it's good that a lot of these models from different parts of the world are popping up and extremely good and competing with every other model that's out there because it doesn't create a big monopoly of companies owning the tag of AI or machine learning advancements. Like in video generation, Minimax is also one of the most performing models that are out there.